Hello, Whatcom County. I'm Vincent Baez, your state representative. Thanks for watching my legislative video update. We are now in the ninth week of the legislative session. and the past week and a half, the House has been on the floor debating and passing legislation. Some of these bills are good, common sense reforms that would benefit Washingtonians, and others, well, well-intentioned, could harm some individuals and communities. One of these harmful bills passed the House last week, legislation to increase the state minimum wage to $12 an hour over the next four years. I'm a fiscal conservative and believe everyone should have the opportunity to earn a reasonable wage to support themselves and their families. But this bill hurts the very people it is intended to help. An increase in the minimum wage will need to be absorbed somehow, either by decreasing employees' hours, increasing prices, or reducing employee benefits. Plus, the minimum wage is intended to be a starting wage. With the significant increase as proposed in this bill, all employers may be forced to increase their wages, minimum wage or not. I'm pleased to report four of my bills have made it out of the House so far. One of these includes my revenge porn bill, House Bill 1272. This bill would create a criminal offense for individuals who share intimate images without the consent of the individual depicted, sometimes called revenge porn. This bill has been in the works for two years now, and I'm happy to see it finally gain some traction. Another bill passed the House a few days earlier that makes individuals who share intimate images without receiving consent civilly liable. If both bills are passed, by the Senate, this will create sound policy and provide recourse for victims of revenge porn. The House of Origin cutoff was March 11 at 5 p.m. This means that all House bills that didn't pass the House are dead for the session. The same applies to Senate bills. However, many bills with fiscal impacts can be deemed necessary to implement the budget, or NTIB. I've spoken to you about my bill to extend an existing tax credit to aluminum smelters throughout Washington. This will specifically help the Intelco plant in Whatcom County maintain jobs and ensure the continued economic success of the smelter. That bill has not yet passed out of the Finance Committee, but is on the table to be deemed NTIB as it could affect the 2015-17 budget the legislature is working on this session. So what does March 11 cutoff mean for the upcoming weeks? You can expect the House and Senate to resume regular committee schedules and begin hearing the bills passed over from the other chamber. Budget negotiations will also be picking up in the coming weeks as the end of session approaches April 26. It's important I know how the people of Whatcom County feel about the legislation moving through the process. On Saturday, March 14, Senator Doug Erickson, Representative Luann Van Werven, and I will be hosting an in-person town hall at Whatcom Community College's Sire Student Center. The event will be from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. and Whatcom County residents are encouraged to attend ask questions, and receive an update from their 42nd district legislators on the 2015 legislative session. I hope you are able to join us. You can, of course, always contact my office with any questions or concerns. You can send me an email at vincent.buys at ledge.wa.gov or call me at 360-786-7854. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.